Yes, uh, we are going to talk about the shark's cloak of invisibility. It's a very interesting subject. It's like a fairy tale subject we see in the stories, we see in the mm -hmm. cartoons. Thanks to recent technologic research, optical invisibility, which we encounter in various science fiction books and films, is moving away from being just a fantastic concept and has become a reality. This property, which used to be thought of as a dream, is now coming true under the laws of physics. And as we know, an object can be invisible depends on the object that reflecting the light falling on it, because seeing or, uh, or the perception is a process that takes place when electromagnetic waves emitted or uh, striking an object return to the receptor's eye. On the basis of the fundamental reality, scientists began collecting the necessary data for invisibility. The physical law to be applied in order to realize this invisibility to prevent an object from giving off the electromagnetic waves or waves colliding or colliding waves being haphazardly, objects can be made invisible and takes a special material that covers it. Indeed, scientists have established a cloak that can bestow invisibility by means of newly developed metamaterial meta technology. So the cloak of invisibility we talked about here emerges when a metal cylinder is placed between donor and receptor and prevents receptor seeing electromagnetic waves, thus resulting in invisibility. In order to produce this property, the object desired to be hidden is covered with specially developed metal materials and this makes it invisible within the specific electromagnetic waves. And one would normally expect waves striking a metal surface to be radiated around it and even to leave a shadow behind it. Yet, thanks to the clock woven by using these metal materials around the metal cylinder, the electromagnetic waves continue on their way uninterrupted. And thanks to the side system we see here, it becomes impossible that elect, uh, to perceive electromagnetic waves from outside and thus detect the metal cylinder. Yet, uh, under the inspiration of our Lord and the one species of shark we talked about here, has been using the cloak of invisibility described here, which currently exists only under the controlled laboratory conditions and is displayed in scientific exhibitions since the day it was first created. Like many scientific discoveries, the property of invisibility that inspires the scientific world is just one of the proofs of our Lord's creation, mashallah. mashallah. And uh, Allah, the uh, Lord of Heavens, reveals in a verse, I seek refuge in Allah uh, from the cursed Satan, Lord of the Heavens and the Earth, and everything between them, the Almighty, the Endlessly Forgiving. Surah Sat 66. Yes, mashallah. mashallah. And the uh, uh, shark which obtained this cloak of invisibility we are going to talk about is the lantern shark. The dense scale lantern shark, a quite small member of the shark family, is a small one, a small shark. It's about like 30 and 50 centimeters long and it possesses a cloak of invisibility that has a very long time and being the subject for the research of the scientists. The shark lives in the waters of the south of Japan and reflecting heat through its scales, it loses brightness in the depths of the ocean and literally becomes invisible in this way. Scientists believe that the shark's property of invisibility is the result of the light emitting organ they refer to as a photophore and the organ is controlled by the nerves and the hormones. This light absorbing organ converts the chemical energy into the light energy, thus make it blend with the light around and therefore it makes it invisible. Mashallah. And it's also been established that a region in the shark's abdominal cavity also contributes to its invisibility and makes the shark invisible from the below. Of course, the shark did not come by this property by chance or by using its own intelligence. It's of course uh, impossible for any living being to do something like this or conscious to discover something like this. The clock of invisibility that scientists have discovered through the lengthy experiments and the research that is still at the experimental age. Uh, we are talking about here mm -hmm. a very small animal, it, things like a uh, 30 centimeter, 50 centimeter length it has, mm -hmm. and it has obtained this thing, the structure about the cloak of mm -hmm. invisibility for the, since the first time it has been created. By scientists have been searching for it for years and years and even to that it has only been a small information mm -hmm. they have yes. gained. But this animal has known it since the first day it has been Mashallah. created. Mashallah. Mashallah. With the wisdom of Allah. Alhamdulillah. And the superior characteristic that invisibility bestows on the sharks we will talk about. Through the physical uh, appearance and properties bestowed on the shark our Lord Allah all living things in the nature live in the greatest harmony with their own surroundings. 
the lantern shark's invisibility bestows it in super features the animal needs. Allah created this invisibility clock for its needs. For example, thanks to this invisibility, it enjoys perfect camouflage. It can, it can hide from its uh, predators and it's also easy for to catch its prey. It can help for them to live better way. And it has been established that the shark can emit light from nine separate regions of its body. It's a big yes. number, mashallah. Mm -hmm. And it helps them, of course, to make it invisibility yes. clock. And Allah is who processes this infinite knowledge and the wisdom, mashallah. Mm -hmm. And scientists are working in order to be applied to invisibility on a wide basis because such researches will present enormous advantages in the field of medicine, like in particular ways, and in the military sphere, in the civil engineering, it can help them in various ways. And but all the research they had this to this date has remained limited, like we talked about, and they have been unable to fully replicate the natural properties possessed by this little shark. Mm -hmm. And these features, like emitting light and uh, being invisible, and while acquiring bright light at these other times, and this depended entirely upon and their requirements at this particular moment. It's impossible to say for a living thing with no mind or consciousness to think about a thing like this, mm -hmm. to know about the physical laws and create something like yes. it for him. He cannot know that he can be seen, he cannot be seen, he cannot think about an invisible clock. Allah made them so, yes. Allah yes. made them yes. and created like this. Mashallah. Yes. It's obvious this property which we see in the lantern sharks is just one of the, uh, one of the instances of his ownness and his wisdom of Allah, he manifests in the animals, Alhamdulillah. And shark's property of this invisibility here was created in the most appropriate form for the animal so that it can hunt and protect itself for the other animals. Scientists have managed that obtain a cloak of invisibility after many years of research and employing a logic and a reason at every stage. Yet this matches property which lantern sharks have possessed since they were first created and in the work of the omnises and infinite mind of Allah. Our Lord's sublime knowledge is infinite, mashallah. And I'll read a verse from the Quran about this subject. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. And in your creation and all the creatures he has spread about, there are signs for people with certainty. This verse is from Surat al jatiya verse 4. Yeah, and uh, the cloak of inv invisibility will be used in the future uh, in the technology, in the future, future technologies. Uh, it may be applied in the field of civil engineering, medical devices cloaked in uh, this way, such as metallic implants and uh, pacemakers, will be able to enter MR uh, scanners using this technology and will be uh, able to pass safely uh, through security scanners, uh, for example, in the places like uh, shopping malls and uh, airports. It may have a broad uh, sphere of applications in the field of communication and with this technology it will be possible to direct telephone uh, signals and uh, the minimum amount of uh, interface. Yes, but and we know the geog uh, geographic uh, obstructions typically mm -hmm. interfering with the signals absorb the electromagnetic field uh, waves, sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, but thanks to the wave uh, direct and clocking techniques, these waves carrying in, uh, information will be able to, uh, to transmit it and then in the desired directions with a relatively uh, less signal loss. And yes. also uh, it might be widely used in the medicine. And uh, the hand of the surgeon uh, being invisible during the surgery may make the space of the hand mm -hmm. become visible for the person who is doing the surgery. Be and the hand will be invisible. Mashallah. Mashallah. Mashallah.